Now, one of the things that's not mentioned in the manual is the fact that, uh, you know, this member that we've drawn is not split and, uh, into two pieces, okay? So you see this member, I mean, there's two members at the same location, right? But this member uh, uh, that's actually towards you is actually split into two pieces, but the member on the other side is not. Uh, that distance we can figure out if you go to Tools, Display Node to Node Distance. Okay, that distance is like 0.5 feet, okay, or 6 inches. So what we should do is basically select the beam's cursor, you know, select that member, and you right click and just click on Insert Node. Okay, and the distance, let's put it at 0 0.5. Click on Add New Point, hit OK, and what it'll do is it'll split that member also into two different pieces, okay? Now the same thing applies to the other end, but in the other end it's a bit more tricky, okay, because if you hover the mouse on top of that beam member, which is beam number 239, the start end is located on the left and the ending node is located on the right, okay, so start is the green color and is the blue color, right? So in this case, you know, the division needs to be supplied not at 0.5, but has to be provided at 1.5 feet, okay? So you click on the nodes, sorry, the beams cursor, select the beam that needs to be divided, right click and click on insert node. And this time put in a distance of 1.5, click on add new point, click on okay. Now you see that member has been divided into two pieces, okay? Like the other one. So so th those steps were not there in, in, in the manual. Now. Uh, the next step is let's click on view whole structure. Okay, so we have the whole structure. We can take the dimensions off by just clicking on tools, menu, remove node dimension. Okay, and then what we will do is we'll go to page number 58 of your manual, uh, step 34, and we'll try to get an elevation view of the structure. Okay, so we can click on view from positive Z. Now, uh, let's uh, select all the members that are shown in figure, uh, like they're shown in figure 12, okay? So what you need to do is basically rubber band all these members, okay? And, and granted that it's gonna pick some more members than required, okay? And now that's why we're, now what we're gonna do is go to isometric view and simply unhighlight or unselect the members that we don't want in our selection set, okay? Uh, now, you see, we've already selected some pipes, I mean, the supports also, so we'll just unse unselect the supports, hit the control key, hold it down, okay? So once that's done, okay, what we have is just the truss portion on the front side selected, right? So our selection basically looks like what is shown in the manual now, okay? Page number uh, 58, figure 13, okay? And once we've done that, what we can do is we will uh, copy those members to the other side of the bridge, okay? So the way we copy it is click on geometry menu, translational, repeat, okay? Now, uh, the translational repeat dialog box is, is, is uh, basically shown. Uh, what we could do now is just type in the input. So we want to copy along the Z axis and we want to go in the negative direction. So we'll put in negative five feet as the distance along the Z axis. Uh, we don't want to link steps, okay? So, so that's not gonna be checked this time. And if we click on OK, we see that our truss geometry is uh, transferred to the other side, okay? Now, if you look at the figure, okay, uh, uh, figure number 16, okay, we, we tell you basically that there are instances where, uh, you know, Stat Pro won't be able to copy the, the offsetted members, okay, to uh, the other side, okay? 
using translational repeat. So those members have to be created again uh, manually by the user. So we'll just draw those members. Okay, click on geometry menu, add beam, add beam from point to point. Okay, and just draw those members manually. And once you've drawn those members, just zoom into that part of the structure and um, select those members. And we need to give them positive offsets, okay? Because they, when you draw them, they don't have offsets assigned to them automatically. Okay. And the offset that we need is a positive offset. So click on the first offset command, click on assign. And then click on the second offset command, click on assign. So you see those members have the correct offsets assigned, right? Now if you click on view whole structure, your whole bridge, uh, you know, sort of deck is, is uh, now, now complete, okay? Now the next section will talk about formation of physical beams and uh, uh, the, the concept of physical beams, it was fairly new to StatPro. And the reason why we implemented that was because, uh, uh, you know, using that concept, uh, we can apply loadings easily, okay? And you'll see a huge benefit of the physical beam uh, loading approach for, for these uh, bridge designs, uh, just uh, because of the way the AIC specifies uh, the load positions, okay? So uh, exercise number five, we'll look at physical uh, beam modeling, how to create physical members.